I am leaving Nickelodeon. This is not clickbait. This is not a joke. This is completely 100% serious. I have reached a decision um, and it's just time to go. These things happen in careers uh, in Hollywood sometimes and um, I'm certainly not the first person to ever leave a studio um, and it certainly won't be the last. But um, it's the first time for me. I've never had a job this long at one place. A lot of you are probably very young. You're probably not even 20 years old yet. And just to even imagine being at one job for 20 years is probably a little hard to imagine. But uh, when you get to be my age and um, you've had a career as long as I have, it can be pretty interesting to be at a job at one studio for so long. And I, I must tell you, I have had the time of my life at Nickelodeon. I have never been disappointed. I've never been let down. I've been treated extremely well by everybody there. This is not a video to diss on Nickelodeon or to to trash them or anything because they I, they've just been fantastic. And I've had uh, I've had a career in animation that is um, pretty epic. I mean, a lot of people have told me they envy my career. I wish I had your career. This sort of thing. It. Um, it, it really did come as a blessing from God into my life. It's, a, it's, it's been an amazing time. Um, you know, uh, it, I definitely there is hard work. We have to do our part for sure. You know, uh, there's a, a scripture in the Bible that says, faith without works is dead, meaning uh, you can have all the faith in the world and all the belief in the world that you want to do something, but unless you put work behind it and put that effort into it, it's not going to come to pass. So you've got to do your part as well. So. I know God plays a big role in my life. I really uh, believe there's a lot of um, amazing circumstances that have happened in my career that a lot of other people haven't experienced. And uh, I'm truly grateful. I'm grateful to, to God. I'm grateful to Nickelodeon for giving me uh, all the opportunities they've given me. I'm grateful to all of you out there that are fans of mine. They've even been fans over the years. Uh, for so long, and it's just I can't thank you enough. Everybody out there, uh, old, uh, some of my older fans and, and new fans that are discovering the YouTube channel for the first time, I'm just so grateful. Uh, those of you who are new to the channel, um, well, let me just give you a little brief history of, of how I started at Nickelodeon, um, and we'll kind of go from there, and I'll tell you what the circumstances were that led up to me leaving. Um, and there's really nothing terrible. Uh, you can skip to the end of the video if you want. <laughs> there's nothing terrible. It's just a series of, you know, just the way things sort of played out. Um, I started at Nickelodeon in December of 97. That's a long time ago. I, and I know that because my daughter Sophia was born in December of 97. And the reason I got to Nickelodeon is because I had sold a short cartoon called The Fairly Odd Parents to Fred Seibert, who was doing a show called The Oh Yeah Cartoon Show. And I don't know if you remember the old Oh Yeah Cartoon show. If you watched Oh Yeah Cartoons, you would see three original cartoons made by three different people. And uh, he had one slot left. And I was fortunate enough to pitch him Fairly Odd Parents. He loved it. I would met Fred over at Hanna-Barbera, and I came over to Nickelodeon in 97. So uh, I, Fairly Odd Parents was the last show in uh, to Oh Yeah Cartoons, and I was able to do that one short cartoon. And then my daughter Sophia was born at the end of uh, De December 97. So my daughter Sophia is exactly the same age as the Fairly Odd Parents. So, um, but I've been there uh, since then, and I, I my last day at Nickelodeon was February 2nd, 2018. So that is 20 years and a couple and uh, a month or so. Yeah. So. Uh, amazing that that much time has gone by and just the, imagine, the amount of things I've been able to accomplish there has been astounding. Every dream I've ever had in animation, every, um, every thing I could have ever possibly wanted to do came true at Nickelodeon. So anyway, I sold Fairly Odd Parents. I made uh, four short cartoons and um, they were received very well. Maybe many of you have seen them. They're all done on traditional cells and uh, they look way different <laughs> than the cartoons of later years of Fairly Odd Parents. That was the awesome thing about getting to do a show like that is I got to develop the characters over so many years. I got to I got to refine their designs and refine the look of the show and refine the comedy. It was just so cool. Um, anyway, they focus tested my uh, short cartoons and then it was picked up as a TV series. It, I was given six half hours. They called it a six pack at the time. And um, I remember they picked up six half hours of Fairly Odd Parents and they picked up six half hours of Invader Zim. And so I was making my show at the same time they were making Invader Zim. And, um, uh, we both actually released our shows the same night. They premiered Zim and Fairly Odd Parents the same night. And what was exciting about that was I was very fortunate. Uh, the ratings for Fairly Odd Parents were just really great. And um, so they ended up giving us uh, more. They said, you're going to get a full-blown series now. And what's funny is 
At first, they only picked up six half hours, and those six half hours did so good, but no one expected it to do good. Not as good as it did. So for a year, they reran those six half hours over and over while I could make, while I was busy making new episodes. And um, we even did some Crimson Chin online flash cartoons. I don't know if you've ever seen those. We did those at the time. And uh, those are great because we had all these different Crimson Chin villains um, in those. If you can find those anywhere on the web, uh, let me know because uh, I'd love to see those again. I haven't seen them in so long. But uh, we were really trying to do anything with Fairly Odd Parents because we didn't have any episodes other than those six. And so I even took the original Oya oh yeah cartoons and redubbed them in the voice of Tara Strong because Tara Strong wasn't the original voice of Timmy Turner. It was a lady named Mary Kay Bergman who did uh, Timmy Turner. Mary Kay sadly passed away, so Tara. Uh, took over and we had to redub all of those original oh yes with uh, Tara's voice so it would all stay consistent because the show was uh, really taking off. And as a result of that I was able to uh, make Danny Phantom, I was able to make uh, Tough Puppy, and then most recently Bunsen is a Beast. And um, it's just been so joyful and amazing. And I've learned a lot about um, not just animation itself, you know, because I was a cartoonist and an animator and I was a bit of a writer when we started. I love to write comedy. But um, when you're in a production schedule like the one they were, I was given and the one anybody's given when they get a show, you are under the gun. You have to work really fast. And you really have to bring your A game every single day. So I really learned how to bring my A game every single day. And I tried to inspire other people to bring their A game every single day as well. And, you know, it, it, it's just so joyful to watch your show, which is kind of like your child, grow and be accepted by other people, you know. Because you've been working on something for so long, you want it to be special and you want to just keep it fresh and just make it a blast. I mean, working on Danny Phantom was just uh, a joy beyond belief. And Danny Phantom only ran for three seasons um, and I, I just, it has become such a cultural touchstone. I mean, people love that show and it's got such a cult following and I am thrilled about it. Um, we never made any more at Nickelodeon. You know, ne networks make decisions that they feel strong about and they, they just wanted to move on to new things, I suppose. But I, I promise you, I'll keep giving you as much new Danny Phantom stuff as I'm legally allowed to give you on this channel. But, um, you know, Nickelodeon owns the rights. That's what happens. You sell a show and they uh, own the rights. So I can't really do anything new with it fully. But you never know. Keep writing Nickelodeon. Keep telling them that you want to see more. Maybe they'll just do some more. You never know. I would be, I'd be the first one on board if they did, I promise. And I was doing that at the same time as Fairly Odd Parents. So I'm running two shows now. I've got two writing sessions every day. I've got two storyboarding meetings every day with storyboard artists. I've got uh, two recording sessions every week, two final mixes every week. It was really hectic. And I just want to tell you guys, if you're thinking that you want to get into this industry, it's awesome. But it is very difficult. Uh, and you need to understand that you have to really step up when given that chance. There's another scripture in the Bible that says, uh, to whom much is given, much is required. So when you're given a lot, it's going to require a lot out of you. And I know a lot of you out there have it inside of you to do what it is you want to do. You guys can do anything you want to do. Anything. And um, maybe, you have a, maybe you'll have a career like me someday. And I, I, I hope you do. I hope you get to do everything you want to do in art, in animation, um, in storytelling. I mean, we're all storytellers. This is what we do. Animation is storytelling just with funny drawings that move around. If I could say one thing about my time in Nickelodeon is that I got to laugh every single day. I encourage all of you to find a job or a career or something that you do that allows you to laugh every single day. And I'm still going to laugh. There's a lot of cool things coming up, but let's keep going. Uh, so so uh, then uh, after Danny Phantom, I got to work with uh, Jerry Trainer on Tough Puppy, my amazing writers, the amazing voice cast of that show. Some borrowed from Fairly Odd Parents from Danny Phantom, and they were on Tough Puppy. And then my latest show, Bunsen is a Beast. Uh, what a joy that's been to make. Um, the future of Bunsen is right now, uh, it's only been one season. It's one season of Bunsen and we're done. And um, uh, that was a hard um, decision to make. That was a hard decision to make, to walk away from a show like that because it was going so well. And But you know what? Like I said, I just knew it was time. There's just things that you have to do in life uh, that are beneficial to you, beneficial to your family. And uh, I know you guys are fans. I'm not trying to let anybody down out there because I've got a lot of amazing stuff coming up. Okay, so what's the future of Butch Hartman? What are we going to do now, you might ask? Well, um, I want to keep going. I am just going to keep going. I never stop. 
<laughs> I'm like the Energizer Bunny, uh, who's like uh, taller, but I'm, I'm I'm like the Energizer Bunny. I just love doing what I do. I know a lot of you do out there as well. So I am still going to be uh, making animation. I'm going to keep selling shows. I've got my own app, the Noob Network. I do all kinds of brand new original stuff on there. Go check that out. Um, I've got a cool sketchbook that I'm selling on Amazon. I'll be doing more books, uh, self-publishing books, and getting books published by you know other people as well. Um, I've got a lot of projects I'm working on right now, but I'm under contract uh, to a company called Pocket Watch that I'm working with. Uh, that was announced, so I can say that, but I can't tell you what I'm working on just yet because I am, like I said, I'm bound to a contract. Can't release it yet, but I, when I'm allowed to, I will tell you guys everything, I promise. And there's another couple things I'm working on that are extremely cool. Again, under contract, can't talk about just yet. And also, I've got a really cool project I'm working on that I can tell you about called Elf Detective. And that is rocking and rolling, and I've got some great ideas for that. That's coming out. I don't even know if I'm going to sell that to a company. I might just release that here on the YouTube channel by itself. What do you guys think? Let me know. You want to see me self-release this and just put it on here to share with you, or should I sell it to a company? You guys let me know. Uh, and other things going on, too. We are just uh, growing this YouTube channel. We're growing my uh, other channel, Speech Bubble, the podcast. I love doing that. Um, I'm really just free to do whatever I want now, and it is exciting. I'm a very blessed man. I'm a very um, um, fortunate person. Uh, I have an amazing family. My wife and daughters are healthy. I'm healthy. I've got great people I work with, like my, my producer, cameraman, Jay Steele. He's just helping out on all this stuff. And I just really want to thank all of you. Um, you know, everybody says they want to do something awesome in Hollywood. They want to they come to Hollywood and make their career happen. And I'm just going to tell you, there's a lot of great things that can happen here and there's a lot of disappointments that can happen too. It's just you have the strength to get over those disappointments. You need to have the strength to understand that you, there are going to be times you're going to be let down. I've been let down thousands of times. For every success you see out there, every Fairly Odd Parents, there's another 25 things you haven't seen that I've worked on. And those projects had a lot of blood, sweat, and tears put in them, a lot of hope, a lot of things being lifted up, and then suddenly just didn't happen. And um, that's what happens when you work for a, a network sometimes. you And they're not being mean about it. They're just, they, they decide at the last minute, maybe they're not ready to do that show, or or they have other things in mind, or new people take over, and that, that's just one of the things you have to get used to and understand that. Uh, I'm very fortunate now because I'm going off and doing stuff on my own. So that's what's cool. So I'm in charge. <laughs> and I can do whatever I want. So that's exciting. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all uh, for listening to this and um, just letting you know that uh, as of now, after 20 years, Nickelodeon is over uh, for me. Uh, it's going to continue on for other people. It's a great network. Please keep watching it. Please keep enjoying it. But uh, my future is bright. Um, I have a lot of faith in God. I have a lot of faith in you guys because the Heart fans are going to be growing and going strong for a long time to come. And you'll be seeing a lot of cool stuff from me in the very near future. So thanks again, and we'll see you later. What do you say? Want to go for a ride? See where the future takes us? Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.